Ye, 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 ye. So, problem number 5 na tayo para sa topic nating pressure. So, sabi sa problem, determine the air pressure needed to maintain the height of water at chamber number 2. So, kung titingnan natin dun sa figure, so, merong tank, no? comprised of two chambers at merong opening sa baba. So, yung dalawang chamber na yun is chamber number 1 and chamber number 2. So, sa chamber number 1 ay uh, merong air space, no? wherein may supply ng pressure, may oil, at may water. Sa chamber number 2 naman, eh, open, no? exposed sa atmosphere. So, ang laman lang niya ay water. So, ang tanong dun sa problem, eh, ano daw yung kailangang air pressure no? para ma-maintain yung height Uh, na 3.5 nung water sa chamber number 2. At dahil kailangan lang daw i-maintain yung level ng water dun sa chamber number 2, eh pwede nating sabihin na yung system ay static. So ngayon, dahil static yung system at yung pressure should be distributed throughout the system, ay uh, pwede nating gamitin yung Pascal's Principle. So para dun sa problem, para ma-solve natin yung air pressure, pwede nating sabihin, that the maximum pressure at chamber number 1, which is dun sa bottom ng chamber number 1, is also equivalent to the maximum pressure at chamber number 2 o dun sa bottom ng chamber number 2. At para makompute natin yung maximum pressure or yung pressure at the bottom sa tigabilang chamber, eh, kailangan natin kunin yung summation of pressures sa lahat ng uh, fluids na involved sa tigabilang chamber. So, para dun sa chamber number 1, so that's pressure of air plus pressure of oil plus pressure of water at chamber 1. So para naman dun sa uh, chamber number 2, so that's uh, pressure of water at chamber number 2. Ngayon naman, expand na natin yung formula. At alam ko namang familiar na kayo dun sa formula ng pressure. So that would be pressure of air plus the quantity of the specific weight of oil times the height of oil plus the quantity of uh, the specific weight of water times uh, the height of water at chamber 1 equals the specific weight of water times the height of water at chamber 2. So expand pa natin since hindi naman directly given sa problem yung specific weight ng oil. So that would be pressure of air Uh, plus the quantity of the specific gravity of oil times the specific weight of water times the height of oil plus the specific weight of water times the height of water at chamber 1 equals the specific weight of water times the height of water at chamber 2. So ngayon, i-plug in na natin lahat ng value. So that would be pressure of air plus the quantity of 0.82 times 9.81 kN per cubic meter times 1 meter plus the quantity of 9.81 kN per cubic meter times 1.5 meters equals the quantity of 9.81 kN per cubic meter yan binago ko muna yung 1.5 meters uh, times 3.5 so anong unit noon yan meters yan pahabol <laughs> So ngayon, input na natin lahat ng value sa calculator. So that would be X para sa air pressure plus the quantity of 0.82 times 9.81 times 1 plus the quantity of 9.81 times 1.5 equals the quantity of 9.81 times 3.5. So shift solve. So magiging value would be 11.5. 5758. So ang unit natin ay kilopascals, no. Kasi mapapansin niyo, uh, lahat ay naka in terms of kilonewtons at maka-cancel yung cubic meters at magiging square meter. So ngayon ay gawa tayo ng alternative solution para dun sa problem. So ang gagawin natin ay i-reduce natin yung height ng liquid na nasa bottom ng tank. So, ang liquid na nasa bottom ng tank ay water. So, since meron siyang dalawang height, isang 1.5 meters sa chamber 1 at 3.5 meters sa chamber 2, eh, uh, ibabawas natin yung height no, no mas mababa, which is 1.5 meters, dun sa mas mataas na height, which is 3.5 meters. So, that would be 3.5 meters minus 1.5 meters. So, ang gagamitin lang natin uh, sa solution natin ay 2 meters. 
at ineneglect na natin yung 1.5 meters sa baba. So later on, didiscuss natin kung bakit natin i-reduce ire yung height ng water. So write down na natin yung solution. So using Pascal's principle, that would be P sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 or yung pressure at chamber 1 is equal to pressure at chamber 2. So para sa pressure at chamber 1, so that would be pressure of air plus pressure of oil equals para sa pressure at chamber 2, that would be uh, pressure of water. So expand pa natin yung equation. So kung mapapansin nyo, sa chamber 1 ay hindi na natin kinonsider yung pressure ng water at chamber 1. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, neglect na natin yung uh, water sa chamber 1. So kung mapapansin nyo, uh, naiba na rin yung height ng water sa chamber 2 at naging na siyang 2, hindi 3.5. So, input na natin lahat ng value sa calculator. So, that would be x plus the quantity of 0.82 times 9.81 times 1 equals sa quantity of 9.81 times 2. So, shift solve. So, magiging final answer natin. O, yung air pressure would be 11.5758 kilopascal. So, kung papansin nyo, magkaparehas ang sagot dun sa unang solution dito sa ating alternative solution. So, kung papansin nyo, they are accidentally the same. So, explain ko lang kung bakit uh, pwede na nating ineglek yung height na 1.5 dun sa liquid na nasa bottom ng tank which is water. So, ang gagawin ko lang ay kopyahin ko yung equation dun sa una nating solution. So, uh, i -re rearrange lang natin yung equation. No? Lalo na dun sa uh, right hand side. So, kung papansin nyo, yung nasa right hand side itong equation ay the quantity of 9.81 times 3.5. So, pwede natin ihiwalay no, yung 1.5 na height. No? At ibase natin dun sa expression na nasa left hand side which is 9.81 times 1.5. So, mangyayari, pag napaghiwalay na natin, so that would be the quantity of 9.81 times 2 plus the quantity of 9.81 times 1.5. At pwede na natin i-cancel yung similar na uh, expression which is 9.81 times 1.5 dun sa left hand side at sa right hand side ng equation. So, since sa cancel na natin, eh, similar na yan dun sa alternative solution. No? Yung ating naging equation. So, same pa rin yung magiging final answer natin. Siyempre. So, that would be 11 0.5758 kilopascals. So, lahat ng answers natin ay ay accidentally the same. So, ayun. And that would be all. Thank you so much.